Welcome back. Um, I just got back from the doctor's. Um, Kissy is sound asleep in the car seat. See, I just sat her down and I come back and found a missing baby. <laughs> no, um, the babysitter, um, my mom kept an eye on her, put her in a little bit, that's who she is. I saw grandma's, well, I will say four, but she loves her grandma. Anyway, let me get Kissy, not Kissy, with Christine. I'll be right back. Anyway, with her sound asleep, see how quiet it is? Um, it turns out she does have colic. And basically, don't be surprised if she starts in. Um, she does have colic, yes. And they give her some stuff, you know, to make a burp, to, you know, let her, most of it out. But, yeah, but I'm glad I went. Um, did she lose one? I don't know if it was colic or something's actually wrong. I don't know. But I'm gonna let her sleep. I need, need to uncover the car seat with the blanket, but. And she's on her clothes. She fell asleep on the way to the doctor. No, she's not on the way. Uh, it was the way back. Oh, but, um, but. I guess that was the first time I'd take one of them to the doctor. But I was, it was, I was starting to get worried because all that crying and fussing and it just wouldn't stop. So I'm going to let her sleep. I don't know if I'm going to wait. The, the picture I was wanting to do with her, if I let her sleep, because the doctor said it is colic, you know, after she wakes up, we do, do the pictures and... But yeah, she's still, like I said, she's out like a light. I need to uncover her. But yeah, let me uncover her some. Let me put you guys back here. Up here. Let me let, 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 let me uncover the blanket. I just had it because the winter coat so cold outside. I had to keep it covered up and stuff. And so. It's going to be another bad night, I'm guessing, because it's her nap, so, I can't believe she fell asleep, but all things it's like car rides, so, are you going to get colic to you? If she starts crying how she's been, I know what it is now, I just didn't know if it was colic, or, that's what I was guessing. And because every time I burped and, you know, try to get her self right, she would burp. But she, I think, you know, uncovered to explain that off the car you see, so she gets some air, you know. I should not bother with you, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, she's real back, and, yeah. Grandma took care of Chris. Again, I don't have anything. Christine. I guess you probably won't do it here too. What about the other one? But no. Yes, she had to go. Something told me, yeah, take her and get checked. Because this crying just kept on going and going and going and going. So 
some days she'd be good and the other day she would cry and cry and cry and cry and she needed to go and get checked and yeah so like I said like if she starts in I know it's colic because the doctor even said I, I did tell um, the doctor that Chrissy was a twin and so the doctor said yeah if with her being a twin if she starts in it will, will, will probably be the same this watch basically but yeah it probably would be the same if she starts in are you gonna start in huh you don't wanna start in do you huh if I knew she was gonna fall asleep though I would have canceled the picture with the white dress put her in her pajamas and fix it up because he did see me wrap her up in my the, the same blanket like this. He did see me yeah, wrap her up and yeah, take it in her, in her pajamas. If I would have known she was going to fall asleep. But I guess I would let her sleep. I would take her out of the car seat and lay her down in her bed. Over. I would actually, at least unbuckle her. Cause she's still, yeah, buckled. Oh, Kissy. As long as she's not sick. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for, yeah. I know what it is now, and yeah, again, as long as she's not sick. It's just something babies get. Christine. Christine. Well, anyway, oh, hope you enjoyed this video, an update on Chris, Christy, and yeah, please subscribe, hit the bell, tell your family friends about me, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!